Dev Mills, Mr. J. Dev, hey, yo, peep, dang, bro, peep, motherfucker, dang, man. <clears throat> yeah, I think Floyd's legacy took a black eye because of this exhibition match with Paul, with Logan Paul. I don't think an unblemished record. The fuck? Connection failed. Man, you better connect me, motherfucker. I don't think an unblemished record can take a hit uh, or, you know, get a black eye on it. I mean, the dude is 50, you know. <sighs> 20 plus defeated world champions. Beat his contemporary. You did what I'm saying? Like, it, you know, him beating Pacquiao was equi would be equivalent to Earl beating Terrence or vice versa. How do you blemish something like that? How do you blemish something like that, man? This dude is a wizard in the ring, man. And even in, you know, in that fight, I didn't watch the whole thing. I watched, you know, Shorty on my Facebook page. She went live with it. I, uh, I watched a little bit of it on there and just, you know, he still shows signs of wizardry. In that fight, he really did. He showed signs of wizardry. He um still got low. He did. I didn't see him get hit with anything clean. <clears throat> He's still that dude. He's still that dude. I mean, this dude is you know possibly one of the top. There's people I've heard him say he's the goat. I can't argue against this. He's not my personal goat, but I can't argue against that. Defensively, I don't think there's anybody who could fuck with him. At that level, I've always liked Mike Tyson's defensive approach better than Floyd's because it, you know, it, it, it fits my style a little bit more when I get in there and I spar. But as a as just a straight up and down wizard, I would say, you know, Floyd, Floyd is that dude is Houdini in that ring, man. So I don't think you can blemish something like that ever. What I will say, though, is that I just, I didn't think it was a good look, man. Because, I mean, even now, he's getting some sort of, you know, they clowning him. And that's what happens when you entertain clowns, man. You become a part of the sideshow. You dig? And y'all, sometimes you just got to be like, all right, man, I'm, I'm cool on that money. I'm good on that money. And, you know what I'm saying? You know, maintain your integrity. Maintaining your integrity. Even with you and Connor, I wasn't too much mad at that. Connor is a respectable fighter in the octagon. Who's fought at a high at the highest level. The Paul brothers haven't. They haven't, man. They're good. They can fight. They can fight. Uh, you know, they're you know, I think they would be solid amateurs. But as a pro, no. Fuck no. And it's just, it, you know, it's just... YouTube is becoming a platform where it's, you know, it, it's not no thing to get, you know, to become known to the masses. I watch um, a lot of basketball, you know, a lot of basketball shit, you know, like White Iverson and Devontae Frigga and... Nick Briz and a lot of Ball is Life brothers and Hezzy God and them cats. And they'll shut down an entire park in a city just because they coming through. And the way fans cater to these dudes is like, yo, like I, they, they literally can make a career off of that. It did, but these cats play street ball on the highest level. You understand what I'm saying? Like. It's not NBA basketball. No, but street ball, solid street ball players is very high. That's a very high level. You got to think a lot of street ball players have college experience. A lot of them have semi pro experience. A lot of them have pro experience overseas. So street ball is very, you know, at a very, how these cats play, these cats play at a very high level. And when you go to certain legendary parks, especially, you know, you go to parks in New York, like the Rutgers and Dykeman and all that. And then you go to L.A. and you hit Venice and you play in, the, you know, Chicago streets and Houston. It, it's, it's, it's high level basketball. You play in 
Jersey, Philly. It's high level basketball. But the fact that they have they've amassed the amount of followers on Instagram and Twitter and all that shit. People, you know, they cater to them. So it's not as it's it's not being a celebrity isn't as it, it isn't as uh, sacred as it once was. So now when you take these YouTubers who all of a sudden want to come into this platform, it's like, you know, it, it, can, it can set the wrong signal. It can set the wrong signal. Like, all right, I'm on a certain level. So, I mean, shit, they did it with Floyd. Let me go do it with so-and-so. You got Jake Paul trying to, you know, clap back Canelo. And because he's so irritated, a lot of times it's like, I ain't even trying to get this money. I just want to shut this nigga the fuck up. They'll fall for the bait and they become a part of the sideshow. Yeah, I, I don't I don't like that, man. I don't like that. I think some people just you just need to let certain motherfuckers just nah. Y'all stay over there. Would I like to see Canelo go in there and knock Jake Paul the fuck out? I honestly would. <clears throat> do I think he should do it? No. Because no matter what happens, you you become a part of the side show or the clown show, and it's just not a good look. But why is my shit swerving like that? So that's how I feel about it, man. I think um, with these shows, I just I, it, it it once again it bothers me when you have championship cow or, or, or title contenders fighting on an undercard for these dudes. Like, that shit is just wild disrespectful to me, man. That's wild disrespectful. Only thing that saved... <clears throat> only thing that saved... Jerry Heard... <clears throat> and, uh... Luis Arias, or whatever. I always forgot how to pronounce his name. Only thing that saved that was the fact that Floyd was the main... Was the, was the headliner. But the thing is, the Paul brothers aren't gonna stop. They found a new market, you dig? And I think it's dope that they can get to the they can get to that show without a a promoter involved. <laughs> That's dope. Cause I don't, you know, these promoters. I think it's um it's somewhat it's somewhat quintessential to uh, uh, uh um going independent with you know what I'm saying through you know Soldier Boy bringing putting YouTube in a certain space to where. We don't need record companies no more. <laughs> We're going to take our culture back from these white record executives. And that shit is dope to me. From that aspect, it's dope. It's a beautiful thing to get the hands up. Get the sport away from from greedy, elitist motherfuckers. I think that's dope. Al Heyman tries to instill some integrity to the sport. But the one that I really see doing it is Eddie Hearn. He's the only one that I really see trying to restore integrity into the sport. So I, I mean, I can't. I don't. I don't knock Eddie too much, you dig? And I'm not. I'm, I'm not as. I'm not as high up on Al as I am on Eddie. But Al does. Al does good work as well. Even Bob Arum does some good work. But I just think he's. He's an idiot. <laughs> But I think it's dope that they found another way to, all right, cool, we don't need, we don't, we, we don't need them. They've had, they've amassed enough of a following to where people are going <clears> to, <throat> they're going to pay attention to what they're doing. So from that paradigm, it's dope. But it's unacceptable for any title contender, former world champion who's still active to fight on the undercard of the Paul brothers. That shit is just unacceptable. It's unacceptable for any fucking celebrity to fight on the card with one of them dudes. Hey, like my nigga Bosco, woo woo the Bosco, man. Bosco and Gonzo, like, they shouldn't have. Actually, they didn't, it wasn't no profile. It was Ben Askerson or whatever the dude's name is. <laughs> you know, whatever. No, it's not whatever. He's a former fighter. You dig what I'm saying? Maybe not a boxer, but he, he's, he was in the octagon. I just, I'm like, man, I just, I don't, I don't like it, man. I don't, I don't like the shit at all. I don't like it at all, man. I, I think, um, you, integrity has to be restored, man. We can't just let a bag dictate how we live our lives, man. You have to bring integrity back to the sport and just to your goddamn self. 
integrity is gonna supersede everything, man. Cause you, you know, it's, you, it's, it's more admirable to just be, to maintain your integrity. Like, yo, man, he ain't let money get to him like that. He didn't let money, he didn't let money supersede his greater judgment. He was just, you know, he, he, kept, he remained true to his get down and he's forever respected for that. I don't see nothing wrong with exhibition matches, man, but it's just, you know, certain things I just don't like. When you put a fucking, even a prospect, you put a prospect on the undercard, it's like, yo, you know, what? what is this? You put a prospect on the undercard of a fucking sideshow, it's like, are we, are we like, yeah, I need Devin Haney. Why the fuck does Devin Haney got to be a fucking side a, a undercard to a KSI versus Logan Paul? Like, this is disrespectful, man. It's disrespectful. You did Create your own land. I'm not saying there ain't no celebrities that can't box. I'm, they said Kendall Gill won't work. And he's trained in boxing. And, uh, you know, uh, 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 that's like, uh, oh, fuck. David, da is it David, what is it? Is it David West? Big dude, you, you know he, you know he played for the Warriors. He played for the for the Hornets. Big dude, big man. I think his name is David West. His name is slipping me. I know his name, but all of a sudden I can't think of his name <clears throat> now. But um, yeah, I think it was David West. He's trained in boxing for years. His hands are allegedly certified. I'm not. I'm not saying that other celebrities can't get in the ring and put their skill to the test. That's the platform for that. That's where it's like, all right, cool, David West versus a Logan Paul or something like that. Where somebody who's, it's entertainment, but it's good entertainment. It's, it's entertainment, but it's like, all right, cool, it's not like me disrespecting, it's solely in the sport of boxing. I'm thinking that I can get in there and run that shit with a certified fucking world champion or a formal world champion. Because there's levels to it. I think that shit needs to be taken into consideration. That's that's how I'm feeling about it, man. I, don't, I mean, I don't think I don't think it was a, a black guy on the sport, but it is like, bro, you a part of the fucking sideshow. You are, bro. You, you are. You can get in there with. You can get in there and look as slick as you want to look. If you don't knock a nigga out, they gonna see. You know, it's 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 null and void. They was trying to their way to. Laugh at Mike Tyson and Roy Jones Jr. Trying to make jokes out of that. How y'all? How did these are two former? Roy is the goat and Tyson is the goat to me. Y'all gonna find y'all way to sit here and laugh at some shit like this? Like you know what I'm saying? Make jokes out of some shit like this? This ain't Logan Paul versus KSI. These are former world champions. It's a former world, former uh, one of them was an undisputed, uh, the youngest to every. To ever capture a heavyweight title you dig you can't like come on man but once you get in there with you know you once you get in bed with clowns you become a part of the clown show man and i don't think it was a black eye on the sport but i do think floyd does kind of look a little goofy he does look a little goofy after this and you know his only saving grace man i got that money that money that money that money like you got enough of that. <laughs> He's probably a billionaire by now. Keep doing what you're doing for boxing, man. Don't entertain these bozos. Don't entertain them. Don't entertain them. Them dudes can't even sit at your table. Hey, hey, come on, man. Floyd is. Come on, man. Oh hell no. They can't sit. They can't hold your jock strap. They can't be one of your sparring partners to get you ready for a Conor McGregor. You gonna go in here and entertain them? Ah oh, man, because not even with, like I said with the you know the the whole or you know the whole ordeal that went down between him and Jake Paul at the presser. There's niggas who think that that shit was staged. I'm sorry, that I don't, I, I, that shit didn't look staged to me. Everything of leading up to that looked staged. That did not look staged. That looked like a nigga who, who feel like you got me fucked up, my nigga. Like, just certain shit just triggers you. And we in the, we in the day and age right now where everything is staged. You get those videos go viral with niggas breaking bop, you know, 
then buy, you know, prop bottles over niggas' heads and shit to give you, you know, we do a lot of corny shit today. And because, you know, once you, you know, you, you're so in that, like, oh, you got to question everything. Oh, this shit probably fake. This shit probably fake. That, that, shit, that, that, that shit was fake. I don't think that shit was fake at all. But that's what happens when you mingle with clowns. So I don't think it was a black eye on the sport. I do think it does some sort of disservice to the sport and the people who have dedicated and risked their lives participating within the sport. I damn sure don't think it was a black a blemish on Floyd's record. There's, there's just I don't see, I don't see how you can do that. <clears throat> that dude was entirely too great at what he did in order for it to be a blemish on his record or it look make him look bad. No, fuck no, fuck no. He is solidified as one of the greatest. No matter how he sliced that shit, he solidified as one of the greatest. Me and that shit is to be respected. But he should never, <laughs> never do that shit again with the Paul brothers. Leave them motherfuckers alone. Because they're going to drag you to the depths and drown you <laughs> with the clown shit, the buster shit, man. Just continue to be the great that we know you to be. And, you know, keep up the integrity of the sport. That's what it's all about. Maintaining the integrity of this sport. All that other shit ain't about nothing. All that other shit ain't about nothing, man. You got more than enough money. You got more than enough money. You don't need to do not entertain them suckers, man. Cause you is you can't win unless you go in there and comatose one of them niggas. You cannot win. Because motherfuckers is always gonna be all oh, man, you need it. Get the fuck out of here. That's how I'm feeling though, man. Peace.